back to another day of Vlogmas. Welcome back to the Becerra family. If you haven't already liked and subscribed for Do future right videos, now. hit it right now. Hi guys. So we are at the Ontario Mall. We are at the Ontario Mills Mall here in California, Ontario. Today, today is my sister's 22nd birthday. We've almost made a celebration. We actually booked something for the evening, more for the kids, but it just happened to be on her birthday, so that's what we're gonna do today. But right now, Rogelio me encargó si le pudiera comprar un regalo para mi hermana de parte de él. So, aquí estamos en el mall. We ate at Tory Birch and get her a purse, so that's gonna be fun. And then we're gonna go meet up for dinner. I found this really cool restaurant out here. I've never been there, but I found it on TikTok. So we're gonna check that out. I made reservations for 4 p.m. and it is 3 p.m. So we got 30 minutes to go get a purse, leave, drive to the place, and that's it. So it's a and, and get some Starbucks. Let's oh, yeah, go! So can't forget about that. Let's go, guys! All right. So we'll see you guys at Tory Birch. We'll see you guys inside the mall. We secured the bag literally. And we are here at Starbucks. So we got our little Starbucks, but I'm gonna have it. It's a tiny one. It's a tall. Um since Noah was kind of screaming in the background. Um the same element in the that I said venti. She literally gave me a tall, but it's okay. We're about to get there. We're a little late, like always. Wendy's always coming up with uh, the places to go, you know? That's I'm what? always, it's always me. Everyone's like, all right, Wendy, look for something. I'm like. Always <laughs> make you order the food. They make you always choose where <laughs> to go. Because they have like good taste, I guess, or something. Because you know, we'll be like an Olive Garden or something. Not that there's anything wrong with Olive Garden, but we try, I like to try different restaurants and like to try different places to eat but if you know no salimos de lo mismo we'll probably go to Applebee's or like Stone, Olive Garden Stone fire. so for me I don't like going to the same places <laughs> over and over I like to try different places so as I'm always looking stuff up um trying new restaurants and stuff like that so that's from the designated but, but that's person. what I like about you know Wendy you know she she always takes an adventure you know? I wanted to buy my sister flowers antes de llegar so right next to the restaurant there's a Trader Joe's so I'm like perfect perfect but everyone's like texting me where are you where are you but they don't know that I went to go get the present if I didn't have to go pick up the present que me encargo Rogelio I would be there on time but it's okay we're already right here like two minutes away literally She's all excited to get out, huh? Look at Noah. Look at Noah. Oh. She just came out. 
No más que ese día. Y aquí tenemos a lobster tail, un tomate, paleta y asparagus. ¿Qué do you think, Swagro? So ya llegamos, we got tickets to a place called the Polar Express. No sé si han visto la película, le, han leído el libro, whatever, but it's here, like literally a train station. I put on a sweater just to be more comfortable and back on and I put on some Uggs. I literally got these Uggs two days ago in Nordstrom Rack. They had oh, so many tuto. Uggs for sale. Mira, and I found these are so cute. They have a little ribbon. But I got put on a, a little hoodie just to be a little bit warmer. Pero nuestro, nuestro tren era las 6.40 y ya son las 6.58. So we missed the train. No, 37. <gasps> So we're trying to see Joseph Wabe a ver si nos dejan in the next train ride to see if it's coming! All aboard the Polar Express! I put the kids their cute little PJs. Let me see your PJs. We have these are our matching Christmas PJs and Noah's already wearing them. So a little update, nos dijeron que nos esperemos 20 minutos para ver si otra gente no llega y a ver si nos hacen campo en the next train. So we're gonna wait. If not, they said we could come another day. So that's good. But the kids are already excited and we're already here. So hopefully we could. Look at them. It's like a show, mommy. Get on here. Okay, let's go in here. The Polar Express. Updates, we're still waiting. And I'm just watching my show, Picky Blinders. We're all waiting outside. I think my sister and my mom and them are inside the car waiting. It's like, it's like about 40. 750 right now. It's like 45 degrees yeah, out here. it's pretty though. cold. But, uh, they told us to wait. They said that there's about 122 people yeah, still haven't right. reported. So we're going to see if we can do a walk-in. Hopefully they can let us in. So update after an hour and 10 minutes, we got tickets. Look how excited the kids are. We gotta go guys! No, let me see your ticket. You have your ticket? Emma, you got your ticket? To the North Pole! Alright. To where? And we can see Santa Claus! Oh, no, just come right oh. here. May I have your attention, please? This is your conductor speaking. On behalf of myself and our entire Southern California crew, we would like to say... Welcome, welcome aboard, aboard the, the Polar, Polar Express. Express! Passengers, look carefully at the stamp on your ticket. This stamp was chosen just for you. It stands for something that we hope you learn today on your trip. It stands for something that is to be carried with you after your journey is complete. And you made your sister put out the milk and cookies. Is all that true? Yes, ma'am. Well, sounds to me like this is your crucial year. Ticket, please. I'm not sure I have a ticket. Hmm. Uh -oh. Try your pocket. There's nothing in this pocket. There's a hole in it. Santa's sleigh. 
There is no Santa, my friend had insist. From outside came the sounds You're of your hissing cookie? steam. In your hot chocolate? Where's your hot chocolate? And squeaking oh, metal. Daddy has I looked through my window and saw a train standing perfectly still in front of my house. Hold her express and then the walker. In an apron of steam. Snowflakes. Emma still awake. Emma's writing a letter to the Santa Claus. Noah is asleep still. He's up for the rest of the night. And there's the mailbox for Santa. Yes, I did me no. We are out. It is 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Y ya nos vamos. We're gonna go and stay in la casa de mi mamá porque we have some things we're gonna do tomorrow. We're gonna go shopping. So we're gonna go stay at my mom's house and it's an hour and 20 minutes from here. But this was such a nice and cute experience. I watched the movie so many times. It does remind me of, of my dad a lot because my dad was loved watching the Polar Express. Every single Christmas he'll make us like watch it as a family. So it reminds me a lot about my dad and I'm glad my kids got to come with my dad and it was just like a whole like a really cute experience it's super cute um you're like what emma's age when that movie came out or maybe or on emma's age i don't know but it, it like brings me like nostalgia whatever it's called like reminds me of my childhood and my dad you guys are able to come is that in la ciudad de perris um or like corona i guess like mm -hmm. like around this area so if you guys are here in la uh, maybe I don't know if they still have tickets for this year. You guys could check it because I know they had some for today. I think they have it until like the 23rd or something like that. Oh, check it out. Um, it's called the Polar Express. It's here in the Southern Southern California Railroad, something like that. Just look on Google and it'll come up. Your little family and um, bring them here. I know the kids would love it. Bring them in their PJs. All the kids are wearing PJs. Super cute. So. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for another Vlogmas video. Bye.